Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. You join me at the uh, ungodly hour of 3.16 in the morning. We're currently in my yard and, uh, well, just doing some checks basically. I just had to go put something in the bin and uh, now we're gonna go do some checks. So my truck's over here. There we go, here's the truck. Today we are going to Southampton to pick up a container and then take that container to Telford. Yeah, Telford. Just have to think. Yeah, just, uh, just doing some checks. Let me place there if I need it. Well, I will need it in a sec. All my lights are working. Yeah, all my lights are working. Nearly tripped over that there. <laughs> Uh, you may notice that I'm not actually hooked up to the trailer. If I turn the torch on brighter, I'm not actually hooked up to the trailer, and that's because we're not uh, taking this trailer anywhere. We're taking uh, the truck solo to go actually pick up the trailer. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in a little while. This torch, by the way, is from Olight. It is bright. <laughs> Jay, uh, Jay mentioned it in one of his vlogs recently. We uh, we. Uh, we all got sent one of these. I think, I think we all did. Uh, it's from Olight, and there's uh, it's really, really bright actually. Really bright. I might put a link in the in the description down below if I can remember what the link is. It's not. It wasn't a cheap torch, but uh, very handy, and I I definitely use it for all my daily checks in the morning, as I think the others do as well. Being uh, James Scott, not sure about Cameron Martin. But yeah, no, uh, truck's all good. Truck's all good. So we need to uh, we need to get a move on because time's getting on, and uh, we've actually got quite a lot to do still. We need to go and get fuel. We need to go get the trailer, and then we need to get to Southampton. Let's put you on there. Right, first thing I've got to do is dimmer this Luke C sign. There we go, actually, we'll turn it off for now because it's going to be pitch black driving and it's just, uh, well, it's just nicer when it's off, really, to be honest with you. So, card's been in for 15 minutes. It's actually been in for 20 minutes. Uh, but we're good to go. Checks are done. We need to go get some fuel. Then we need to go get a trailer. Let's get a move on. Right, let's get some fuel. Should turn on any second now. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to put in. Uh, I've got just under half a tank. But I know, uh, I've done this run loads of times before, and I know that's going to go. So I'll probably just potentially fill it up, see where it goes to. Okie dokie, just pulling up to security now. I'm not going to film too much inside just for uh, protection. Hi, right, mate, should have some paperwork for me, JK Transport. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, I'm just gonna check it's the right one. Mate, do you have any more paperwork in there? JK. Yeah, do you have another one that says JK?
but it's just that what I was told I was doing that was all. Got no problem doing it. Still pick up from Pentalva, but it's to take on take the storage on site. That's the only one, yeah? Alright mate, no worries. Too, so yeah. He's gone. Is he already in here still? Yeah. All right, mate. Cheers. <laughs> du, 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 du. Yeah. So I mean, what I was told was to get, pick up a container from here, take it to Pentalva, uh, yeah, take it to Pentalva, and then pick one up from Pentalva and go to Telford. That's what I was told. Uh, but it turns out I got to go to storage on site first, which uh, no problem doing. But I don't think they open at six o'clock in the morning. And this other driver that's still in here apparently is not in here. Uh, 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 one four six. One four six. I think we're taking that one. CPWU two 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 one one. Six. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so I phoned the other driver up and uh, he is going to the right place. He's got the easy run. He's picking up from here and taking straight to Talford. Whereas I've got the horrible run, which is what I was going all the way to Southampton first, then up to Talford. The problem we've got is, as I suspected, I'll have to look into it a little bit more, but I don't think SOS open until 7.30. Uh, I'm going to be there well before 6 o'clock. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to be proper early. But that's not my main worry. My main worry is that uh, I started at 3 o'clock this morning. So I can only work, can only work until 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, booked in for one o'clock at this place, so I won't be leaving Telford until three o'clock. Uh, which leaves me three hours to do three hours driving. It's going to be tight, I'm going to be in rush hour traffic, and there's an incredibly high chance of me running out of working time. Which means a pointless night out, never mind. I'm a little bit annoyed, to be honest. Anyway, that's the container. CPW T221146. It's a green one. It's quite strange actually. Normally SOS containers are blue with a yellow SOS sticker on it. There's nothing on that to say it's an SOS container. Oh. Anyway, better make a move just in case we can get in early, but I don't think we can. No more. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are now just round the corner from uh, what we're going to be. I'll just turn my interior lights on so you can see me a little bit. Uh, it's, the, it's the darker light, so I can still see perfectly fine out ahead. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's 20 to 6 in the morning. Turn your headlights off, thank you very much. It's 20 to 6 and uh, 
we're a mile away from where we got to go, which is SOS. I'm going to pull outside their gate and just see what time they do open. Uh, Google says half seven, but it might be that they are open at half five. We'll have to see. I was a little bit annoyed earlier. You might have been able to tell. <laughs> it's just not what I was told I was doing. Um, and it, it does seem like it's two hours pretty much wasted. Or, or an hour and 45 rather. But we'll see. Let's think of the positives. If they are shut and they don't open to half seven, then I'm going to park up around the corner, get get at least a 45 minute break in. I'm probably going to be parked up for an hour and a half. And uh, go back to sleep. <laughs> go back to bed. That's if they uh, that's if they don't open until half past seven. And of course, another positive would be then that uh, the container's been taken off here. When I go to Pentalva in a bit, uh, I'll be empty, which means I go in lane three, which means no queuing, or not as much queuing anyway. So uh, we might be able to fast track our way through Pentalva also. We we could still be tight on working time later. We'll have to see. It, it all depends on how long it takes for them to unload me later and whether I get on in time. Uh, like I said, booking in time is one o'clock, so we will literally just have to wait and see. But we're just uh, just pulling into Marchwood now, pretty much. Got a couple more corners to navigate. And then uh, we pull in. I once stayed in one of these yards down here. Uh, I think there was like a, I don't know how to word it. I don't want to actually stay in the yard but there was like a, an entrance towards the yard and I'm pretty sure it's big enough for a truck to get in. So we'll uh, we'll have a little gander through Marchwood in a sec to see if there's anywhere safe for us to park. I don't think we can stop on the main road. Pretty sure there's yellow lines all over the place. We will see. I'll go left of this roundabout. Left of this roundabout. There's a car behind me, I want to know where he's going. He's not indicating. So he must be going straight on. Right, here's Marchwood, that's security. So if I do, if I do stop, then they might tell me to move. Actually, there are no, uh, there are no lines on this road here. So potentially we could stop, but uh, we're not gonna stop just yet. We just gotta, see what time these open if they're I'm hoping there's a strictly no wait in in main road I think that means on main road right so it does say I can't stop here there are there's nothing telling me what time they open. Well, I was going to ask him, but he didn't stop. <clears throat> there is a phone number on one of these signs. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick call and uh, see if it says anything about opening times on it. 
I think that's where I want to go. Jesus, I've got loads of cars behind me. Yeah, so I was just going to stop just up here against one of these fences. This is the yard, so I'm going to pull into this yard and spin around. Come back out and then reverse out, reverse back. Yeah, this is the yard I once stayed in. Let's spin round. And then we want to reverse back. Believe it or not, I can barely see. I can literally see nothing behind me, it's like pitch black either side. So what I'm going to have to do, I know there's no vehicles down here because I've already shined my headlights, but I'm going to reverse back far enough that I can then drive forward and just park up. I do. park up alongside this fence. Da, 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 da. That day. Right, uh could do with making just one more phone call just to see and try and confirm what time they actually open. That's the bloke we're actually doing the work for, but he might not be up yet. All right, cheers, Luke. See you later, mate. Bye bye. <coughs> right, so. Yeah, they, they were aware I was coming here, the people we're doing the work for, and they said I shouldn't have started until half five, but I was told be at the docks at half five. Is what it is. Oh, never mind. So, uh, got to put it on break for they don't open till half seven, so an hour and a half. No, yeah, yeah, an hour and a half. I put me to 20 past seven, and then I can drive out, spin around at the roundabout, come back in because I can't get in the gate from this side, so I need to go past it, spin around, and come back. But it's just it says no waiting on the road, which is a bit annoying, so I might actually need to set off here like just before I pass. Never mind. Just gonna put on our next destination. Pent Alpha Docks. How long does it take to get there? Bear in mind when I do leave here to go there it's gonna be a lot later. It takes twenty minutes to get there. Never mind, right. I'm gonna go to bed for an hour and a half. <laughs> Nothing else to do. See you in a bit. Welcome back. It is now 7.27, nearly half past seven. And uh, yeah, I went, I went back to sleep. <laughs> uh, about about, uh, I don't know, about 45 minutes to an hour. Back in bed again, so that's good. 
we're uh, we're gonna go see now if, if they're open if we can get back in so I spoke to the guys who were doing the work for and uh, yeah I wasn't supposed to start this morning until half past five oh never mind it is what it is although I haven't actually heard from my boss yet but yeah like I said it is what it is not a lot I can do about it now just gonna hopefully we can get this uh, box off and everyone put back on quickly we'll have to see on that front but yeah uh, went to sleep had a good night's sleep well, I say good night's sleep, a good hour's sleep. Right, so we are now here, just pulling in. I've never come in from this side before, so I'm hoping I don't actually hit anything. Because it's not the easiest of entrances. We're in. Ugh. Right, it's a miserable day outside as well, so we're going to have to go and... Uh, we're going to have to go put a coat on or something. But at least we're here. Just, uh, I just heard from the boss and he said uh, that he double checked his text and it did say start that early that I did. So someone somewhere has been given the wrong information. So it don't matter. We're here. So it's all that matters. Right, let's go get, uh, go get booked in. Right. Paperwork has been handed in. Just got to try and line up now for this bloke to take this off. There we go. That beep means stop. So just wait for them to take off. Uh, well, there is a little bit of traffic heading to uh, Pentalva, which is not great. <laughs> and we're done. Ooh, it worked. So yeah, that's good. That was off nice and quickly. Uh, as we were coming in, I think that this one here on the right was just turning around and parking up. So I think we're the first one in and first one out. So that's great. That's good news. Don't want to be queuing up. Uh, but of course now, like I said, we've got to go to Pentalva. It's probably going to be busy in Pentalva. But hopefully, because we're now empty, uh, we can go in lane three and just make our way all the way down. We'll soon find out. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, so... Uh, spoke to the guys who were doing the work for, and they are aware that uh, I wasn't supposed to start early. <laughs> and I spoke to my boss, and he said that he was told I was to start early, so... Yeah, like I said, someone somewhere has uh, received information, and it's been miscommunicated somehow, so... It's not the end of the world. Uh, I don't know, it probably seems like that's what I'm going on about. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's uh, that... <coughs> it's last you're going to hear of it. We just need to crack on with the day now. Get this box put back on. Uh, and then head to Telford. Now, normally, on the paperwork, it'll tell you what size box you're picking up. I just made a phone call to the guys we've done the work for. And he's not actually in the office right now, which is a little bit annoying. Because uh, he can't tell me what size box I'm putting on. And I need to know because if once you go to Pentalva, oh, you got your set, you got to set your twist locks before you get to the place where uh, you put in your details and give them the container information. And of course, I don't have the details of what size container I've got, so I can't set my twist locks until after, which is a little bit annoying. So the only option I have is is to phone up and get the size I got putting on now or explain the situation when I get there and I might have to go right round in a circle because they are quite strict in Pentalva. 
So we normally take 40 feet boxes up to Telford, which is exactly what he said on the phone. I said, yeah, you're right, we normally do. However, our other driver, who I phoned this morning, has actually got a 20 on, so... Unless... Mm, unless the guy who's uh, taking up the early one is taking the wrong box up. <laughs> As happened before. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, no, I'd prob probably set up for 40, because I'm, I'm set up for 20 right now. And it probably will be a 40, but it's just, it's just known for sure, do you know what I mean? Oh well, never mind. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, we're only around the corner, we're only six miles away, we've got to go down the other side of the river. But there's a little bit of traffic apparently just around the corner. Here we go. Here's the traffic. So we've got about five minutes of this traffic going to the sat nav, so yeah, we're going to, uh, just enjoy the traffic for a moment, and I'll see you guys when we get to Pentalva in a uh, in about 20 minutes or so. See you in a bit. Right, we're uh, we're here at the docks. I can already see they're queuing, and I can already see trucks with no container on <coughs> in lane one. When I'm sure, if you're empty, you can go straight into lane three. I'm sure. A, because it's essentially a sale, uh, and B, because you've got, you've got to take a tight left-hand turn, so they want you in lane three so you can make the turn. So I will be going in lane three. Uh, I've also heard that I, I have got a setup for a 40 foot as well, so that's good. It's, well, it's not good, but it's not, it's not bad either, it's just what I expected. <laughs> so we will be setting up for a 40 foot. Uh, it just means I've got to, uh, basically change the twist locks, they're in a different position <coughs> for what I want. Uh, 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 it does look busy in there though. So yeah look, it says lane one, containers only, so that's empty containers. Uh, Pentalver access, reefer sales loaded and M&R in the third lane. So uh, that's what you want, lane three. Because we're not, we haven't got an empty container on, uh, and we're sales as far as I'm aware. We'll grab, we're getting a loaded container, which will be a sale from them. So we're going to stay in lane three. Sod it. And uh, when we get around here, you'll see what I mean. There was, there was another truck empty, just like me. There he is, on the left. Oh, it's not that busy. But yeah, no, we're, up, we're going straight down. Yeah, empty containers lit on the left. We don't have an empty container. We go straight on because we're empty. I'm sure of it. Right, we're here. And uh, we sat for 40 foot. I couldn't get the uh, camera out there because there were too many people looking around, so. Uh, so I couldn't film. Have your information ready. It was a bit quite busy around there though. And check the details are correct, noting the health and safety procedures shown. Never mind. Let's see how long we're in here for then. Okay, so box has just been put on. Uh I think I'm supposed to have a hard hat on. Let me just put one on. <laughs> There we go, right, hard hat on. Right, so now we've just got to uh, put all the twist locks on. Take a photograph of the uh, serial number. So there's a serial number that. Just take a photograph of that. Doors are on the right way. We're just making sure it's the right container we've got on. One more twist lock and then we'll be done. There we go. All done. So we'll jump back in the cab now. Uh, and then we've got to, on the way out, just tell them what the seal was. 
Let's see if it matches with their records. Which uh, I'm sure it will, but you can never be too sure. Running out of air as well, so I need to uh, charge my air up as soon as I can. Please turn off your engine. You are in a queue and you call. That's not mine. Hi there, mate. Yeah, I've got the uh, container on. If I just uh, SV14 FPK. Pardon? I've got your first bit. I've got SV14 FPK. Box drop Papa Kilo. That's all good, yeah? Yeah, it's all good. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, just got to charge the air up. So they've got no air. Wait for the ticket to come out. There we go. There's the ticket. We put the ticket in with the paperwork. And, uh... We need to get out of it before the gate closes, but I also need to build up my air a little bit more. Because as you can hear, it's beeping. So hazards are on. Just charge up the air for like 30 seconds and then we'll go. Uh, oh, watch as we're in. Yes, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure if I've done that right because I was in lane three and as far as I'm aware that's that's fine. I just spoke to Trucker Jenko and he said that he's never done that. <laughs> so I might have uh, might have done it wrong, but never mind. <coughs> and then also when I moved around into lane one I got into that inside lane, so I definitely cut in front of people. Uh, because it, it did say, I didn't realise until I went past it, but it said lift off only. I was getting a lift on. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I cut in front of people. Um, but that being said, without even my ticket being taken, uh, someone come along and beat their horn and say they had my, my container, so they knew I was there. Right, air is built up. Let's make our way. We're actually, uh, we're running, we're running short on time, <laughs> believe it or not. I'll explain in a second when I get off this roundabout. If I can get off this roundabout. Let's go after this Civic. Thank you very much. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, obviously we had a 45 minute break earlier, which we would have needed anyway at some point uh, because it's too much driving to get down to Southampton and then up to Telford. But I was kind of hoping that uh, if I have a break down to Southampton, I'll have enough drive time to get this container and go straight up to Telford. Uh, we're on half an hour drive time left, which means I've only got four hours of drive time remaining. And we're three hours and 45 minutes away from our destination. So we've only got 15 minutes leeway. Uh, if I get held up in traffic, I mean, I'm accounting for eight minutes worth of traffic now around the corner, but if traffic builds up even more, say around Oxford area, then uh, I might be late for my booking uh, because I've run out of driving time and I will need to get a 45 minute break in. Uh, I did try getting a 15 in Pentalva, but uh, I didn't quite get a 15 minute break in, so it doesn't count, unfortunately. But, uh, Never mind. Never mind a donkey. <laughs> All I know is that we've got the container on. We're on our way. Current ETA is 10 past 12. Uh, so in theory, in theory, we could have a 45 minute break uh, and make it there by one o'clock still. And like if we miss the traffic. So hopefully we get there by one. And then, uh, and then I'll show you what is in that bit of cardboard. I plugged it in earlier. That's a bit of a giveaway. I plugged it in earlier and it works and it's good. But I need to do a little bit of DIY involving snippers and basically destroying it. 
uh, it could go bad, but I'm hoping to do that while on the bay. So I'll be on the bay for about an hour and a half or two hours, I suspect. And I'll probably do it then. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to ruin it yet. I'll, I'll explain it all later. It looks good though. Looking forward to putting it up <coughs> and saying bye bye to something else in the meantime. But yeah, so we got a three hour and 40 minute drive remaining. It's going to be a long drive. Let's get the foot down, let's get some miles under us. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you join me three hours later. Three hours later. <laughs> and we're still driving. Uh, we're still a good 45 minutes away from where we need to be. Uh, we're on the M6 currently, uh, sort of around the outskirts of Birmingham. Um, we're just obviously making our way up to Telford now. Uh, ETA is 20 past 12, we're booked in for one o'clock, so we are on schedule. Uh, we've got to keep an eye on driving time, so we've done three and a half hours now, so I've only got an hour left for driving time. And like I said, I'm about 45 minutes away, so there's still only a 15 minute leeway, as there was this morning. Um, so obviously if we if we get stuck in traffic and we lose that 15 minutes, we're going to have to stop for a 45 minute break. Uh, which won't be the end of the world, which still would be but there for about 10 past one then probably, so it's not like end of the world, but we'd rather get there on time. Especially if uh, we can go straight on the bay, that would be nice. The uh, sooner we can get on, the sooner we can get off, in theory. So yeah, there are, there are a few things I want to talk to you about. Uh, I don't know whether to do it now or whether to do it later. I want to talk to you about that thing I talked about earlier and the cardboard. Uh, I need to talk to you about uh, a competition that my sponsor has going on at the moment. Uh, I'll talk about it real briefly and I'll mention it a bit more in detail later. But basically, there's a link down below. Um, click the link, sign up, uh, and you basically you enter a points-based competition. Uh, the top 100 people win prizes, with the top three people winning a brand new HGV sat-nav. Uh, you get a £50 uh, Amazon voucher and also a couple of uh, uh, sleep comfort pillows. Might actually only be one, not two. But either way, you get a pillow. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, link is down in the description below. It's a points-based system, so the more you do, uh, the more points you get. Uh, I'm currently in the lead, <laughs> but I'm not actually in the competition. I was, I'm just doing it uh, to show you how easy it is. Um, so, yeah, I won't actually be winning anything, uh, just to make that clear. But, yeah, no, if you are basically, you like Avail's Facebook page, you get points. If you like their Twitter page, you get points. If you share posts, you get points. If you subscribe to me, you get points. Uh, and then if you just, you know, share the page, you get points. So, basically, uh, you advertise on Avail, liking their page, seeing their stuff, you get points. Uh, the top 100, top 100 people get a prize. The top 100 people. They're giving away a lot of prizes, okay? It's literally giving away free stuff, so just hit, hit the link down below, sign up, and uh, yeah, you'll get, get yourself some prizes. Get yourself some prizes. There's a lot of money they're giving away. A lot of money. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go into it a little bit more later, but yeah, I need to talk about that, talk about the cardboard thing that I need to set up later. Uh, and I also need to say happy birthday to Keely. Uh, it's her birthday on Wednesday, not entirely sure when this video is coming out. Um, but happy 30th birthday to Keely. Happy 30th birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you have a great day, Craig. Hope you've uh, hope you have a good day with her as well. Craig's my best mate, and Keely's his, uh, his girlfriend. So, uh, yeah, happy 30th birthday, Keely. Have a good day. And uh, no, no longer in your 20s, eh? <laughs> right, let's get going. Uh, like I said, 45 minutes, where it was. We've got about 42 minutes left to go. Let's get there as soon as possible. Get on that bay. And uh, hopefully we can uh, talk about what I got stashed away. See you in a bit. Okie dokie. We're just around the corner, one mile away. Let three quarters of a mile away. Just around the corner, like I said. So we're gonna be there in a sec. We are uh, gonna see if my colleague's still there. Hopefully, well, I think he had the nine o'clock book in. So actually, yeah, no, he'd be gone by now. Yeah, he'd be gone. Uh, I'm pretty sure this place has a nine o'clock book in. Uh, no, no, sorry. They, they have a eight o'clock book in, then a ten o'clock book in, and then a one o'clock book in. So yeah, no, my colleague would definitely not be here. Haven't thought about it. <coughs> Hopefully we can go straight in, straight on the bay. We'll have to see. 
do 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 Come on, turn green then. Uh, driving wise, we're on four hours and seven minutes of driving. Um, so yeah, we're not we're not done too bad. We obviously need to get it on a break while we're on the bay, um, and then we can drive straight back then. Normally on the bay for a couple of hours at this place, so um, get a 45 minute break in, and then uh, yeah, I can show you all the stuff. Just need to make a right turn up here. Oh. Lovely jubbly. Tablet nearly went all over the place then. All over the place rather. Ah, and then we make a right turn here. I think the problem with turning up at this time is that they uh, I think they're on lunch break, which is why uh, they do eight o'clock, ten o'clock, and then you would have thought twelve o'clock. But it's one o'clock, and I can see that there's already a container truck up there, so we will definitely be waiting. Do do do. Right. All good. Normally we got to stop and uh, speak to him, but he just uh, put his thumb up, so all good. Right, we've just got to queue up behind this truck here. As you can see there, look, there's uh, a container truck there. So we will need to wait. Here. Let's go tell them we're here at least. Ugh. But like I said, we're not actually due until one o'clock, so we are 45 minutes early. <coughs> Never mind. Right, let's go tell them we're here at least. Okay, right, we are here. And we are now waiting to be told to go in. Truck is already still on the bay, so uh, we can't go on the bay until they're off, until we get told to go on. So in the meantime, let me show you what I got. So, ugh, what is this I hear you say? Well, it's, uh, it's a new sign I got uh, made for me. Here we go. That's a new Luke Cena HTV sign. Uh, it's made of glass uh, with LED lights, uh, top and bottom. And uh, the plan is, I'm not very good <laughs> with electrics. Uh, I plan to hardwire it into my uh, side light, like this one here is behind me. Uh, help I turn it on, wouldn't it? Like this one. So uh, basically there's power on it all the time. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, at the moment it's on a 24 volt plug. Uh, if I plug it in to show you what it looks like. Do, 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 do. Plug in. We've got a remote for it as well. Ready, three, two, one, on. So that's what we got. We got it in, uh, it's, it has the ability to go in different colors as well. So we can do red, green, yellow, whatever color we want. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. There's a man coming over. Yeah, so um, it's really cool. That's what the red looks like. The red is, isn't actually great, if I'm honest with you, but uh, other colors are like the, the blue looks really nice. And the white, yeah, it looks, it looks looks really cool so this one that I got up now will be coming down this one will be going up and uh, I'm going to attempt to do that <laughs> while we're on the bay attempt <laughs> um, it might go horribly wrong we, d we don't know first step anyway at least is to take this one down and uh, what are you going to be doing with it Luke I hear you ask I plan on selling it to be honest with you um, there are a few things wrong with it, so we've got a few LED bulbs out, one there, one there, uh, one there, one there, one there. It's all the white ones, uh, which is one of the reasons why I decided to get another sign. But, uh, so I will be getting rid of it. You right there, bud? Which bear are you waiting to get on? I'm getting off there now. Did he say get on there? I'm waiting to get where you are, yeah. Ah. Uh. Looks like he's done. <laughs> so yeah, there's a there's a couple of LED lights out. A couple of LED lights out right here. So um, that's one of the reasons why I decided to buy a new one. Uh, and what I'm going to be, be doing eventually, it won't be happening just yet, but I plan on selling it. Uh, and anything that I make from it will be going straight to charity. So I don't know what charity yet. Uh, me and the rest of the guys at the Road Legends will be doing some stuff soon. Uh, well, I say soon. 
in the new year regarding charities. So um, yeah, it's all going to go towards towards the charity. So that's the plan anyway. I get the funny feeling that he's finished, and uh, we're just waiting to get back on onto the bay now that he's on. But I haven't actually been asked to go on the bay. Just move on over. Okay, moment of truth. Three, two, one. Okay, we've done it. Uh, sign is up in the back, as you can see. Uh, we've got the remote here. We can change it to lots of different colours. Red, although well, they don't actually look red. Uh, looks more like yellow. <laughs> but there's a nice blue, nice purple, look, nice dark colours. Well, that red looks good then, but not that red. So, there we go, yeah, that red looks better. Yeah, there's quite a few colours on here. Uh, even go for a nice purple if I want. I think I'm going to go for that nice turquoisey blue look. That looks quite nice. Uh, managed to get it all wired up. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's it's done. So that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, quite impressed I managed to do that actually. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, uh, just got to do a quick tidy up now really, because I've got a uh, got stuff all over the place. Well, I've been uh, trying to do a bit of man DIY. Uh, uh, uh. I do there. Cool. Right. So, I wanted to talk to you briefly about the uh, competition that my sponsor Avail has going on. So I mentioned it briefly. Basically, what it is is you um you, you click a link uh, and you sign up to a, a basically a competition uh, and you get points. It's a points-based competition. I'm just trying to find it on my phone. The more points you get the more likely you're going to win something and uh yeah they've got uh they got over a hundred different prizes to win the top 100 wins uh wins prizes sorry uh and the top three win um you get a hgv sat nav you get a pillow and you get a 50 pound amazon voucher so this is the app so I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, I'm on it. I got 17,000 points. I am leading at the moment, but like I said, I'm not part of the competition. Ashley Rose is currently winning with 2,781 points. Jack Allen and Vicky Murphy, uh, all of which I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you all watch my videos. Um, so yeah, um, only shows you the top eight. 
top eight as 1137 but the way in which you get uh points is by basically liking avail stuff sharing avail stuff uh liking their stuff I, I, <laughs> their stuff i'll show you so download the avail app and fully complete sign up you get 500 points for that that's a lot of points like and share on facebook 150 join the avail community 80 points and it's really uh, important to point out that avail is a community it is a community for drivers you find work using the app and it's just it's just perfect i love it comment and thumbs up or uh, this video so if you click that link it takes you to one of their videos you get 50 points for that check out the website 50 points these are really simple stuff Lorraine, you ain't got to do a lot of work for it follow us on twitter 50 points subscribe to luke cn hdv 50 points that's me so if you subscribe to my channel you automatically get 50 points um shouldn't really say this but <laughs> you might have to unsubscribe then resubscribe <laughs> um but make sure you resubscribe uh, upload a picture of your favourite uh, lorry uh, of 80 points. You can see I've not actually done that one yet, so but I can get another 80 points if I did that. Follow them on Instagram, 50 points. Share the driver's blog on Facebook, 50 points. So, And then once you've done that, if you refer other drivers, you get 150 points per referral that you get. So you just put your link out there. Um, do you know what? You can cheat and just put it on a forum where loads of people are going to click it. The only reason why I got lots of points is because I put my link on my page. And obviously everybody clicked it and checked it out. But um, yeah, no... The rewards are to follow. So Tom Tom Sat Nav Plus, Luxury Pillows Plus, Amazon Voucher will be awarded to the top three drivers. So the top three will get that. Uh, VIP top 50. So um, you get like every duty gloves and torches and uh, the 50 to 100, you can get high vis. So if you're in the top 100, you will get a prize. You can get something for literally doing nothing other than liking and sharing, commenting and all that malarkey on, on, on a Vail's page. So definitely do it if you want to get something free. It's one of the easiest competitions you can enter. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised that Vail are literally giving away stuff. <laughs> I don't want to like have a guess at how much it all costs, but uh, yeah, I think they're getting rid of quite a bit there. Anyway, we are backed onto the bay. Uh, it is 10 to two, been on the bay since half past one. And uh, yeah. Not a lot really I can say. We're in a bit of a trouble at the moment because I because I started so unnecessarily early this morning at three o'clock. I can't work past six o'clock. It's that's fifteen hours. Um yeah, 12, yeah, six o'clock. So I can't work past six o'clock. If I leave right now, I'll be back in Swindon for quarter past four, which leaves an hour and forty five minutes leeway. Which is not good considering I'm still on a bay. So I'm gonna I'm guaranteed to be on this bay for another hour, man. Guaranteed. And then after that it's gonna be touch and go as to whether or not I even make it home tonight. I could be on a night out. Uh tomorrow I'm coming back here first thing in the morning with another container. But rather than a one o'clock delivery, it's a eight o'clock delivery, so I should be back in Swindon by about one or two. Uh and then I gotta hitch up to a low loader, go meet my boss somewhere, load up with a low loader, uh and do a night out and then take that low loader to Gatwick. So I'm gonna be on the low loader tomorrow, apparently, um, which is something my boss has been starting to train me up on. So hopefully I'll be doing some low loader work, uh, delivering machinery and plant to, to sites and farms and stuff like that. Not really looking forward to the tight roads, <laughs> but um, the sites and that, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to driving different machines. Could be interesting. I just think it's gonna be a few more nights out, that's all. But we will see. But yeah, no. Don't forget to click the link down below. It's going to be the top link in the description. It'll take you straight to the avail page where you can sign up, create your account, and uh, get those points. Get some prizes, honestly. So yeah, do the avail. Got that sign up. That's good. Happy 30th birthday, Keely. <laughs> Who's going to hate me for keep saying that she's 30? Um, and we're on a bay. So I'm going to have some lunch. Watch a movie or something on my iPad. And... Uh, I'll see you guys when we uh, start moving and let you know whether we're actually going to make it home tonight or not. It's going to be touch and go. Going to be touch and go. See you in a bit. <coughs> right, we are done. <coughs> Container is tipped. And the time is half past two, so... Uh, yeah, they've done that very fast, considering I was here uh, about half past twelve, wouldn't I, give or take. Um, but by the time I got onto the bay and they started actually tipping me, it was gone half past one. <coughs> so 
So they've actually managed to get me tipped in just one hour, which is very good for them. Uh, and it also means now it puts me in good steed. So is, is that the right way of saying it? Good steed to uh, get back on time. As mentioned before, and many times already, I can only work until six o'clock. Current ETA at uh, Howard Tenons is five o'clock. Got a drop trailer, then obviously get back to the yard as well. So we are we are looking at six o'clock finishing time. If I got to take the trailer back, I might not have to take it back yet. We'll have to see. I need to make a phone call to my boss in a second. Say I'm on my way back. See what he says. He probably say make my way and then call him closer to the time. He's let me through. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, now it's all about trying to get back as soon as we can. It's a two and a half hour drive back to Swindon. Driving time's reset, so that's good. Let's get going. Right, you join me two hours later. Two hours and 15 minutes later to be precise. Um, yeah, so we've managed to get back in relatively decent time. We've had a couple of scary, uh, I say scary, not really scary, but the A419 is shut uh, just north of Cricklade on uh, Swindon. Uh, which is actually where this trailer was supposed to go. So uh, I'm not taking this trailer back tonight because I can't get there because the, the road's closed. So I'm, I'm going straight back to the yard. Uh, normally I would get off uh, at Quicklade on the A419, but traffic's building up. So I've, I've had to get off at Sirencester and I'm going around the back way, uh, back roads, which are the roads I go back to the yard on from day aggregates when I'm doing the bot bags. So you might recognize these roads. So yeah, all is good. Uh, tomorrow, well basically when I get back I've got to drop this trailer. A colleague is taking over from this trailer. Uh, tomorrow morning uh, I'm in my boss's truck in the morning uh, to go do a Telford, which is where I've just been, and come back. And then by the time I come back, uh, we're both taking uh, a low loader each, me and my boss. We're running up to Coventry together, get the low loaders loaded. And uh, I believe he's going to be delivering it that day. Uh, whereas I will run out of driving time or working time, whichever one comes first. So I won't be delivering it tomorrow, but I'll be loading tomorrow. Which I'm looking forward to actually, looking forward to having a low loader on. Might take it steady and then uh, I suspect I'll, uh, I'll slowly but surely be doing more low loader work, which would be interesting for the channel. Very interesting. I went out with my boss the other day and uh, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to the country lanes. <laughs> We went down a proper tight country lane. Proper tight country lane. The wing mirrors are getting folded in both sides. Uh, and we very nearly didn't find anywhere to turn around. In fact, we were told not to go any further because we were going to cause a, a, a world of trouble. But we had to go further because we couldn't reverse all the way back. We wouldn't be able to see around the bends. So we had no choice but to go further forward and try and find something to turn around, which we did in the end. But it was very, it was very, very tight. Uh, so yeah, it would be... Uh, Low load of work is going to be okay, I think. Do some uh, call deliveries to sites. Get it on the trailer. Apparently there's no rush. Uh, it just gets there when it gets there. So, probably expect to do the nights out as well. Add blue, power reduced. Nice. Yeah, I had half a tank of add blue this morning before I left and it's used it all up. Need some more add blue. Anyway, there's the sign. Don't know if you can see that in the corner. Looks right up there, I think. Be interesting to see what it looks like from outside the cab because I've not seen it yet. Uh, and yeah, that's that's it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I don't think I might I might do just a little bit and maybe include it in another vlog another vlog later on in time. I don't know. Have you come over your line? Yeah, I think you have come over your line. This is where you get scared because the truck's getting really close to you. But if you didn't go over your line, I wouldn't be close to you. So I'm having a little ramble to myself there. <laughs> right, yeah, we're like two miles away from the yard now, so I'm going to say bye. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and do the avail competition. Link is in the description down below. All you've got to do is like a few posts, like the page, download the app, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, get your points, get in the top 100, and uh, you're going to get prizes. Top three gets a sat nav, pillow, and £50, hate, uh, 50 pound uh, Amazon voucher. So uh, Christmas is coming up, could be handy if you want to get someone a little present from Amazon. Very handy indeed. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye bye.